Hey man, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Clutch, back with another banger. You already know what time it is. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best badges to use on your guard in NBA 2K20. Now before we get into this video, if this is your first time watching my channel, go subscribe right now. Make sure you guys turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload from my channel. And now on top of that, go hit that like button. It only takes three seconds out of your day to do that. Now that you finished, let's get right into it. Yeah, I'm feeling your energy And shorty man, she really into me I got lots of enemies And they wanna act like they friends with me I came up from bummy tees Now catch me just rocking Javonchi They all wanna come Alright, now let's head on over to our badges right here As you guys can see right now Here's my chart I get 5 finishing, 20 shooting 20 playmaking and 8 defense now that is what I went with and that's how my build is set up now if you guys want to see my exact build in depth and detail and I'll walk you through it and how you make it type build video in the comments and I'll do that as my next video now I get five finishing badges that isn't bad and this is my go-to for everything I play whether it's the ones court twos court threes court pro am anything the wreck I go with this it's contact finisher on gold and giant slayer on silver all right now moving on to shooting as y'all can see I get 20 shooting badges and this is my lineup every time I'm running either twos threes or pro -am. so the most important badge is quick draw obviously you gotta have a quick jump shot now it depends you can either go on hall of fame quick draw or gold quick draw it's just your preference on how fast you like your jump shot now my next most important shooting badge is range extender now the next shooting badge is range extender all right you need that on hall of fame that's a must and then hot zone hunter if you guys have all your hot spots it's one of the best badges in the game but if you don't have it and you have like cold spots stuff like that don't use it if you're a good shooter you will have hot spots so throw it on now the next important badge is green machine hall of fame now once you green one shot you will have hall of fame green machine activated and that means you're more likely to green your next shot and so on and so forth and then volume shooter it boosts your percentage of shooting every single time you shoot so it's just more chances of the ball going in and then difficult shots is on silver that is what i run every single time i'm running twos threes pro am whatever now these are the badges right here that i use for the 1v1 court so the only thing that i really change is me adding hot start hot start is an underrated badge that not many people use so whenever you're playing the ones court you already have a hot start and if you have green machine and you green your first shot it's over. You're not going to miss another shot wide open. I'm going to tell you guys right now, do not use Deadeye. Deadeye is completely useless. You can make those same contested shots like 40%, 30%. You guys see people greening contested shots. You can do the same thing without Deadeye. I already do it myself and I know you guys can too. Now moving on to playmaking badges, as y'all see right there, I have 20 playmaking badges and this is my setup every single time I'm running. So the most important playmaking badges are handles for days, quick first step, tight handles and then I use unpluckable on bronze you do not need it on hall of fame unpluckable must stay on bronze all right that's all you need and then my next badge is definitely floor general on hall of fame you, you gotta help your teammates out and then dimer on gold because that's all I can use now when I play on the ones court this is what my badges look like right here for playmaking all I do is put unpluckable on hall of fame and space creator on hall of fame because space creator helps you get way more space like I said and then you use that off of hop steps now moving on to the last category which is defense I get eight defensive badges and this is what I run every single time I'm playing I run gold clamps intimidator on silver and pick dodger gold that is what i use every single time i'm playing unless if it's the ones court now when i play on the ones court this is what i use right here i use pogo stick on bronze and post lockdown on bronze or sometimes i'll use pogo stick on even silver pogo stick is much needed for the ones court especially if you're going up against centers and you just have to keep spamming y who can test them and get the rebound now if you made it to the very end of this video i want y'all to type clutch 4df in the comments i want to see that Clutch 40 up in the comments if you made it till the very end. And make sure y'all like this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload from me. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.